big up dub shutters in Shanghai. Wagwan Tico. Dear my G, my dear my G. I do see blessing. All right, so quick thing. Um, we're going to be in Martinique next month. We're going to be in New York City, August. going to be in Canada for about three shows in August. Um, so look out for them thing up on the... Um, on the um, the page, yeah. So Martinique next month, Canada, um, New York, August. All right. Big big show in a New York, Dexadops, Vegas, Idonia, Sirani, um, Mavado, yeah. Big big show. Big, 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 big show. I'm coming to Europe next year, um, family. Definitely next year we'll be in Europe. All right? Um, getting ready to um, put some projects together so we can have it um, for next year. So I think by about January or so, we might try and put out a new project. Yeah? Yeah. So you can look out for that still. So now say. All right, so. Just want a quick note. Say, um, I see some people, I say, um, certain thing, certain discussion, man must stay out of. So we as man must stay out of certain discussions, eh? All right. So I guess if two women are fight, two women are quarrel, two women are whatever, we as man to stay with it. All right, cool. All right. So we're not have a problem with that. What we have a problem with is. people being selective with where them want to be outraged about. That we have a problem with, you know. The selective outrage, double victimization, um, and so forth, are victimizing people. That is our problem with. Because contrary to what a lot of you all believe, just know that we have been advocates against grape against predators for over 15 years. We have been advocating against these people and advocating for the sex registry to become public for over 15 years. You see? So this is nothing new when we come forward and speak on any issue when it comes down to predators or um, violation against um, victims. See? There's nothing new. But what I realize is when you speak on it, it's only certain people, I guess, the masses, you know, get outraged about if them, you know, like the person or if the person is a celebrity and has anything to do with that or if the celebrity tells them 
what must be outraged about, who must be outraged about, when must be, when they must be outraged. Yeah? So, we're at this point. No. This, this thing I will, people sharing with um, them favorite artists interviewing um, a young man. Zane, people are outraged. People find it disturbing. People find it sickening. And um, of course, you have to take you know, every report seriously. You can't just brush it off and say, I lie a person I tell. You see? So I believe whenever somebody come comes forward and speak on whatever the experience they had, or if somebody violated them, whether man or woman, I think it's something that we really, really need to, you know, we need to approach it. Um Not from a condemnation point of view, but from a point where the person may be telling the truth. Yeah? Like of course, we know people make up things, but we don't first treat it as I make the person I make it up. Yeah? Likewise, we can't just jump on the side of the accused, or, or, or pounce on the accused and say you're guilty of this crime. So it should be properly investigated um, if the victim is willing, if the alleged victim is willing to to take it matters further. But some of the comments that I've been reading is the reason why I'm doing this live. Because I realize uh, there are a lot of women out there, women, predominantly women, who are the reason why a lot of women do not get justice or a lot of women and men stay away, keep silent, stay silent um, when anything happened to them. I realize that is the woman them, majority are the woman them are the reason why a lot of women who are victims keep it to themselves. And because the predators them know this, them carry out them acts without any form of um, concern about getting caught. Because them know a society predominantly, you know, is going to either ridicule them or refuse to believe them no matter if evidence is presented so when you really check it out you know are the women them in a society cause this continuation of of um you know the level of offenses that we have against women is the woman them really, you know? And the problem is, or the truth is, a lot of these women that will be selective in their outrage are choosing just not to believe one person, but then believe another person. Or if them like the person, then believe. If them don't like the person, then don't believe. A lot of these women they themselves are victims, you know. Not for the woman in where you see her run back a blue wig, the lady blue. Not for them are victims, you know. All the people in where you see them are run back a blue wig and I get hot and cold like her. And all the people them are victims, you know. But because it's a thing where the society normalize, them just accept it. 
So whenever them see anybody come forward, a victim come forward, and speak about their trauma or their experience, they have a problem with that person speaking out because they are looking at their situation and they are saying to themselves, it did happen to them, and them never did do nothing about it, and them live with it. So you will be a second if you just go and go live with it too. And that, are the, uh, that is the reason why a man like me, quote unquote, in a people business, you know. And a part of the business that me interested in, you know. Because it's a case study. You see? They themselves are victims. So you don't know what happened. Because them never did, or even them mother, because some of them get grip when them are children, you know. And them mother or them grandmother knew about it. And did nothing. So because they were treated in that regard, like, yo, it done happen already. Go and go sit down or just live with it. They believe that because they survived or they lived with it, or they accepted it as the norm. Anybody wait up to just accept it too. That's the problem, you know. Now, how we know this? Because we, we basically see how the people them react. Even in this instance. Yeah? We see how them react. Them not sorry for the young man. Them not um, empathize with the young man. Them only assure like them care or like the quote unquote accuser must go prison because a person where them like, a person where they are a fan of, the person is saying something different or the person is against that person yeah if it were a situation where that person and the accused was on good terms then would have cost the victim then I say we're not going to report it to the police because I remember say that they must say about the sister we used to dance with Lady Blue, you know. Member say, their argument is, the sister should have reported to the police. Me even see a comment where say, a most sweetie sweet I should never report it. I saw that comment. I saw the screenshot it and sent to a little chat group of me. Say, I saw it sweet I make sure never report it. Yeah. So the only reason why they are now showing like them care about this alleged victim with Lady Blue interview yeah, is because is because um, somebody where them look up to somebody where them care about somebody that they are a fan of have a problem with it. If the person was cool on good terms with the accused and I defend the accused and I say when I tap tell lie for my friend well I know a liar and wicked why you never report it to the police these same people would be against their alleged victim so I just saw them flip the script you know like you know a person come forward and say them get grip like Tanya Stevens. Show the evidence. Show the evidence. Report it. Why nobody report it? Why nobody report it? We don't believe you. Kaede, she should have reported it. She actually go back and go sleep with her, 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 her molester. We don't believe her. How the man for grip her and she go back and go sleep with him? You know why? Because Tanya Stevens may not be one of, the, one of them favorite person. 
are them favorite celebrities not out there on the front line and defend Tanya Stevens. Because if their favorite celebrities were out there on the front line and defend Tanya Stevens, and I said, we stand with Tanya Stevens. Yeah, man, we believe her, man. Any man in a dance hall would do this to her. If we go to prison, they, then they would get behind that movement. And they would be like, yeah, man. Who are who you know, Tanya? Who are who you can if we go to prison? <laughs> but because they must see them favorite celebrities them on the front line I stand up for Tanya Stevens, they might see a little one Vegas or a little one person over this away, and of them favorite. Them no business with Tanya Stevens. You see? You understand? So when you talk on these things, you know, they call it to stop you from talking. The more we have to stop you from talking about it too, you know. Because what you are saying, them can't defend what you are saying, you know. So them tell us if you come out and mix up. Them say, you love mix up, eh? Come out of woman business, you love mix up, eh? You love this, you love that. You chat too much. All them things, I'm going to tell you, you know. Because guess what? What you say, I hit a nerve. What you say, them know, say, are true, you know. So them can't push back at the argument that you're making. So them push back at, you love mix-up. You love this, you love that. Yeah. If a mix-up it is, if you speak on social issues, yeah, then we love mix-up. Mm. But what we are saying, a fax. What we are saying, a fax, you know, you know, only outrage about these things when a somebody we well, don't no like um, against it. Or if we no don't like the person that did it or allegedly did it. That's the only time we don't outrage. If we no favorite celebrity named Carl upon any form of um, illegal act against anybody, when we got put in the neck upon the block and give up on a life to defend that person. Whether murder, grip, whatever it is. If one of favorite celebrities them break any law, one out on the back of the field in a numbers a stand up and a defend that celebrity them. You see, if a smart one don't like ever ever does Make one somebody either hurt them. Our thief a buckle. We no take it and plaster it all over the internet. We no bonfire. We no we no this. We no we need. How are you, man? It's mad. We no no like man. Ever get charged for all dirt in somebody? Every day we no depend on the internet. I send for go to prison. Every day. If a somebody we no no like. Get accused of graping somebody every day when they're on the internet. Ask the police them why the person get arrested yet. The person will go to prison. The person will get hanging in the middle of the street. But make us somebody we don't like. You see? Alright, they say it there, you know. So when Una go say, You don't believe one person, but you don't believe the next person because the person never reported it. It just sums up who you truly are. It simply sums up who you truly are. Because you have two subjects, and both of them are reported to you. Know. But you choose to zone in upon one when never report it. I say, I must, it must have been consensual why that person did not report it. But the next person, it's a horrible crime. And the person will do it for go to prison. You're not treat the two of them equally, you know? No, you can't do that. You can't do that. 
Because you say if you do that, you go go against where your favorite celebrity stand for. And you cannot afford to have your own mindset. You cannot afford to have your own independent thoughts. You have to go against your own consciousness, your own mindset, because you have to be out on the battlefield saying what the person who you idolize is saying. So you basically shut off your own independent thoughts. You see? Your own independent thoughts get shut off. Because you no matter where you, you don't even care about what you are thinking of. You want to be among the crowd where your favorite celebrity are cater to. That audience, you want to be a part of the audience there. So you have a problem with a sister where says she get grip and never report it. You don't believe her because she never report it. Fine. You don't believe Tanya Stevens because she never did report it. Fashion report it. Or from a man who report say him get grip. You don't believe him. Unless. Unless. Your favorite celebrities. Believe him. Then you join that wagon. You jump on that wagon there. And you believe. Same thing with any crime. Yep. I swear I go with any crime. Not just graping alone. Even a favorite celebrity. Even a favorite celebrity walk up in the middle of the square and take out a machine and open fire. Take out a machine and open fire. And an innocent person will dress up like a thief. Who now go say, the man he didn't fear him life. And when dress up suffer, him, at, at the way him dress, the man is afraid. So the man dirt him. Yeah, man, and I know for them boy the way he dress up so. Yeah, man, they forget dirt things because I saw them dress up and rob people. But make a smart way when you don't like do the same thing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hmm? Huh? In dirt the man because the man say the man the man dressed like thief. Warm to when he be living and get one a dead for hungry. When he be like they get one a dead for hungry and I dress so. Huh? Hmm? You just know, hype them boy, they hype. Hype them hype. See in true have money now, they feel that like they can't just do anything to poor people. You don't have them money now. They feel like they can't do anything to people. Eh? Eh? Yep. Same thing. If one of your favorite celebrities spitting on a policeman's face. Yeah, you know man, I mean, spitting on them boy their face. A regular them boy they want them one this get a yacht. How you mean? Should I yeah, should I take everything off him hip and game too tight? Them police boy there. I saw them treat get her out. Hey, hey. Make her somebody we you don't like. Just call the police. I like a name. I disobey the police. Stop signal. Yeah, man, I saw them boy are the hype, man. Them boy are the hype, man. A prison them boy are the The police tell us stop and you know stop. I saw them boys they go on and throw them on the money them things so them better than people. Selective outrage. <laughs> so because me know say I saw no stay, when I post anything, I soon the commander it, I bite upon myself. And I defend one I defend, me just black on you. Because me past the point in my life where me argue with fools. Notice, me not argue with fools anymore, you know. Me post when I want to post. 
I come and my life and I talk about what I want to talk about. And if you do not agree, respectfully, we're good. But once you come and me post them, and a member say I'm me of the black button, and me no go up on people page, we post things about me, go read, comment. <laughs> because me already know the climate, or the environment where me in. So the only time me read comments, are under my post, on my page. So, guess what me do? Me no bother argue with people again, I argue with idiots again, you know. Where, now have them even independent thoughts. I can't think for themselves. Me just black, you know. So, me would advise, you know, say, don't bother waste no time and write it. Yeah? Because someone who writes on a long epistle, when you not reply to me, and you go through all of the problem of writing that and then me delete it and block you. You see? If you're going to counter my argument, counter my argument with facts. Or counter my argument respectfully. Like in this case, I'm letting you know that you're selective. You believe, say, the Wobia man molested the little youth. But you don't believe the sister because she never reported. it. But you know that alone. You don't believe the Obia man did it because you know favorite celebrity believes. You know do not believe the sister because you know favorite celebrity do not believe. You see? I don't know that You know favorite celebrity does not believe it happened. So you don't believe neither. Una ask for a police report. Is it that? So uno want we stop talking about that. But you we not go stop talking about that. Because we know say it's a problem in the society. So we not go stop talking about that. We just use what y'all are doing currently. To put forward the reasoning. And at that one can't deal with. So anytime we see we post anything, I want to see one of the favorite celebrities in the post. We're not getting our feelings. And at the come off a people name. Well, guess what? If your favorite celebrity don't want anybody upon them name, tell them to do like Beyonce them. Tell them to do like Beyonce them. And don't come on social media. Come do what they do. Because once they come on social media and behave like hugs, once they come on social media and further victimize people, we are going to speak about them. We are in an era where nobody is supposed to feel like because they are nobody. They can just get up and just say things and don't be held accountable. Yeah? It's a new day. Everybody has a celebrity. Everybody have a phone. Everybody have a page. You see? Tell them the people them when they don't want we to talk about. Tell them to stay out of social media. They have to stay out of social media. If you don't want to talk about your favorite celebrities, them tell them get the fuck off social media. Because once them come forward and then come with bull crap, it opens up every portal to speak about them. And guess what? You cannot stop anybody from opening up, opening up them phone, them live, them video, and speak about it. And that I think, you know, you can bully some people who are afraid I want to comment them, but you must know, say, me I have one of the thickest skin in the world, and I go call it on my seat. You understand what I say? Like the piece of my right. About, you know, favorite celebrity. I mean, no, say, what, I'm, what I wrote, you cannot challenge the argument with facts. So you only can come under the post, come cuss. 
And if you be disrespectful, me I go block you. You cannot come under the post or see me in the street and challenge me on the argument. None of you. Nothing that I've ever said on social media. Nobody, not one single person can see me in the street and challenge me with that argument and prove it to be wrong. Prove my argument to be wrong. Because before me say things, me research it. And when me get wrong, me delete it. You see? So me already accepted wrong before anybody can even say we are going to debate about it. But where you see there is a hundred percent researched and supported by facts and evidence. So anytime you see me in the street, stop me and show me which part wrong with anything we may say. And we're good. You know what I say? But outside of that, you're yeah, right. Go and buy it up yourself. You see? The truth needs no defense. The truth, yeah, must be said. Understand that. The truth, no need no friend. A lie will circle the world, you know. But the truth will always be here. You see? Me move slow because lies spread fast. But the truth will be here. See? Big up on yourself.